Hi guys, this is Farz and welcome back to Farz OC. And in this video, I'll show you how to color grade and how to edit a wedding picture. And this is the most famous color grading in 2020 for the wedding photography or couple photography. Lots of people asked me to do this. So I decided to replicate the famous earthy, a uh, little bit mute tone color grading. Uh, so have you loved this video? Now let's get started. This is the picture I'm gonna work with today. Uh, I think this is a very beautiful picture. The skin looks perfect, so I don't want to spend so much time uh, in retouching. Uh, I think, yeah, the skin looks really good. I think I should apply some dose and burn effect. Uh, very simple. Just two curves. One for darken. And one for lighten. And create a negative mask. That's it. Now click on the mask option on the dolls and now pick a soft white brush flow 1% and now just create some highlight like this See the V4 and after? Look at this. This is the V4 and this is after. It's a pretty simple and easy way to create dose and burn effect. And also it's a non-destructive way. Let's see the before and after. Look at this. This was the before. Look at the highlights. It looks great. Now create some burn effect. Now let's see, hide the black and white layer and see the before and after. Look at this, this was the before, look at the highlights and this is after. Okay, let's apply some burn effect on the uh, darken area of the eyes, like eyebrows, yeah. And here also. Look at this. This was the before and this is after. It looks great. Okay. Okay, now I am happy with the dolls and barn effect and skin looks perfect so I don't apply any type of retouching. And now I want to jump into the color grading. So for this I need a new layer and I want to merge all the layers into a single layer by pressing shift plus ctrl plus alter plus e. And then convert it to a smart object. And now open it with camera or filter. Okay, now come into the basics option. Here is the basics option and uh, I have to increase the temperature. So I am giving plus 35 around, minus, around plus 35 and 14 I want to give minus 12 and I want to decrease the exposure now because it's a little bit too bright. So I want to decrease it. I think now it looks fine and I want to Decrease the contrast also. I think around minus 20 for contrast and minus 100 for the highlights. That's good. And I have to increase the shadows uh, around 15. Yeah, that looks good. And then minus 35 for white. Plus 7 for black. And I want to add some texture. Just a little. Plus 8 for texture, then plus 5 for clarity, and plus 3 for DS. 
and I want to decrease the vibrance and also the saturation so I'm giving minus 5 for saturation and vibrance also that's good and now coming to the curves option okay so create your first point and I think yeah input 0 and output around 10 it looks perfect then create another point and yeah I think it looks good now and make another point here input 95 and output 91 then another point and here input 179 and output 177 and the last point I think I think yeah it looks good and now coming to the red channels and here create a point and input 49 and output here 16 make another point and input 82 and output 57 make another point and here output 113 and output 119 and the last point input 179 and output 196 that's good now coming to the green channels and for the first point input 45 and output 70 for the second point input 85 and output 70 then the third point input 116 and output 120 and the last point input 178 and output 197 that's good now coming to the blue channel for the first point input 37 and output 15 for the second point input 78 and output 62 Great another point input 115 and output 119 and for the last point input 179 and output 197 that's done so this is the curves okay now come into the sharpening option and I'll add some detail around 30% for the sharpening and for color noise reduction I'm giving 25 that's good now coming to the color mixer option and in the hue I'm giving plus 20 for reds then 16 for orange then 16 for yellow and then plus 10 for purple and plus 10 for magenta also now coming to the saturation option and here I am giving minus 6 for red around minus 20 for orange minus 38 for yellow minus 14 for orange minus 10 for aquas minus 15 for blues minus 5 for purple and the last one minus 8 for magenta and now coming to the luminance option here minus 10 for reds minus 10 for orange then minus 15 for yellows then minus 5 for blues and the last one minus 5 for magenta look at this it looks already beautiful all right okay now coming to the split toning option and in the highlights I'm giving 45 I think 45 for hue and plus 5 for saturation and the same setting for the shadows 45 and 5 that's good and here here in the vignette option I am giving I think uh, 
I think plus 14. Okay, let's apply plus 40 for Vignette. And if you want, you can add some grain also. So I'm giving 5 for grain. And here in the Vigneting option, I think... I should apply minus 5 and 100 for highlights. That's good. Now come into the camera calibration option. I need the red primary. Plus 30 for hue. And minus 10 for saturation. And in the green primary. Plus 50 for hue. And then minus 10 for saturation. And in the blue primary, I am giving minus 12 for hue and minus 15 for saturation. I think the color grading is almost done. Uh, if you want, you can uh, decrease the shadows now a little bit. Also, uh, decrease the exposure a little. I think it looks perfect. Uh, it looks good to me. Okay, now press OK when you are done. So let's see the before and after. This was the before and this is the after. Look at the difference. Okay, let's try with the same uh, color grading with other pictures. Okay, for this one, I'm applying the exact same settings. Look at this. Look at the beautiful. This was the before and this is after. It looks great. So this is the famous wedding color grading and you will get this as a preset totally free for the mobile Lightroom, for the Photoshop and Lightroom CC also. If you love this video, if you did, hit the like button, leave your comments and don't forget to subscribe.